or $100 US paired with a 3395 sensor, weighing under 60 grams and an optional 4K Hz polling rate dongle, the Pulsar X2H offers great performance even when compared to the big boys like Logitech and Razer. If you're watching this video, you probably already know all this and are considering buying a Pulsar X2H but you just don't know which size to get. And I'm going to try and solve that problem for you. I'm John, just an average FPS gamer that happens to try some new tech once in a while. Right before we start though, you might be wondering why there are three mice in front of me. This is related to a comment left under my first impressions video of the X2H Mini. A viewer named Dennis mentioned that he noticed a post-travel click sound, like something touching the plastic on mouse 1 and mouse 2. Now Dennis, I'm not sure about a second click sound, but when I got my first copy of the X2H Mini, I felt that the clicks were incredibly heavy. I mentioned this in my first impressions video, but I felt like the clicks were almost crunchy, for lack of a better term. Cue the sound test. The clicks on the first copy clearly sound different and have an inconsistent feeling. So to Dennis, or anyone out there facing the same problem, I suggest you get a replacement. I have since contacted Lethal Gaming Gear about this issue and they said I could return it. Unfortunately though, I've already installed the BTL skits on my first copy. So I plan to keep it around for a couple more days and compare it to the core pads that I will install on my new copy. Stay tuned for that video. Onto the factors that will affect your choice between the X2H Medium and Mini. First thing you want to consider is the size of your hands. You are going to want to measure the length from right where your palm starts above your wrist to the tip of your fingers. And the width of your hands is from the left edge of your palm to the right of your thumb. For reference, I have 18 by 10 centimeter hands. Yes, centimeters. The next thing you want to think about is your grip style. And that is, how do you hold your mouse while you game? The three most popular ways are called the palm grip, claw grip, and fingertip grip. Palm grip, as the name implies, means that your entire palm comes into contact with the back of the mouse. And all your fingers are resting completely on the mouse. Claw grip users, on the other hand, lift up their fingers a little, but maintain that palm contact, resembling the shape of a claw. With a fingertip grip, as the name implies again, only the tip of your fingers come into contact with the mouse without any palm contact. It's important to note that there are grip styles that exist between the three grip styles I mentioned earlier. I personally claw grip my mouse, which means the hump of the mouse comes into contact with my palm. But there is still room for me to push the mouse further inwards if I need to. Say when I'm controlling my sprays in Counter-Strike or Apex. For the points of contact between my fingers and the mouse, my thumb rests on the curved edge of the mouse. My ring and pinky finger rests on the flat sides of the mouse. Particularly, my pinky is right before the mouse really starts to curve out. Here, you can see me trying to hold the medium in a way that maintains the same amount of space that allows me to push the mouse in further into my palm if needed. But, notice my pinky. It now has to rest on the curved side of the mouse. This is significantly less comfortable than the perfect contact point I get on the X2H Mini, and was a big reason why I strongly prefer the Mini over the Medium. If I were to shift the Medium inwards to have my pinky on the same part of the mouse as the Mini, I now feel that the hump of the mouse completely fills out the space inside my palm. Now this can feel great for some people who love to have that full support from the hump to rest your entire palm on. For me, it felt like I was too locked in and my limited ability to make more minute adjustments without having to move my entire arm. With that out of the way, if you are a fingertip grip user, or if you have smaller hands, 
I strongly recommend you go for the X2H Mini. The medium might feel too large if you have smaller hands, and if you're trying to fingertip, the larger hump will almost always get in the way. Now, if you are a palm grip user, I think that the medium is a good fit for you as the top of the hump will provide a good resting point for this part of your palm. Don't tell anyone I said this though. If you palm grip, it might be a better idea to check out the X2V2. For my fellow claw grip users, if you relate to the scenario I described earlier, you'll already know. Go for the mini. But if you have larger hands than me, the medium can still be a good fit for you. The difference comes down to whether or not you prefer the hump completely filling out the base of your palm. If you do, then the medium will almost certainly achieve that. But if you're someone like me who likes some space between the mouse and your palm, the mini will most likely fulfill your dreams. Thanks for watching.